what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome welcome so today in this video i'm going to be doing a style on this wig i'm actually going to be cutting it into a nice mushroom style so um when i was doing this wig i realized that right in the middle of well right before um, I was getting ready to start the whole styling process that I said, you know what, let me go ahead and record this so that I can take you guys on this journey with me. Um, this is actually going to be a unit that I'm making and I'm actually going to be mimicking my Chloe unit. Um, it is definitely a unit that I have that is on my website. So definitely um, feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link down below in the description box. Um, so what you see me doing right now is that I'm just actually um, sectioning uh, the wig off. As you can see, I've already sectioned off the top part. And so now all I'm doing is, is just section off the two um, areas in the, um, where the where the ear area is at. And so I'm just going to separate that part off and just um, focus on the back part of the um, of the wig and so I'm actually going to be using my I think it's called a it's a the razor and it's by twink tinkle tinkle or I think um you know what I think it's called tinkle or I forgot y'all but if you've seen this before you know this is one of the best razors to use um this is actually one of my favorites. I've used other ones and they just were not as good as this one. So I like um, using this one. I actually prefer this one, honestly. And so I'm actually using the part that has the widest in it. And so I'm just actually going through and just like um, razoring the hair through. I honestly believe I should have did this wet because I'm noticing that um, because I'm not using the canvas head and I'm actually using the mannequin head itself it was a little difficult for me to try and style this wig or to try and cut through I mean I didn't have too much of an issue it was okay but it's just the fact that now that I'm kind of like looking back at it I wish I would have did it um I would have cut it while it was wet just to do like the wet methods um the wet method to cut it that it would have been a lot more easier for me so i think next time uh, when i do a video like this because I, I i do plan on doing another one i believe that i'm going to um cut it do a do a wet cut instead of a dry cut so i'm actually just going through cutting off layers and everything um just making sure that i you know you always want to make sure you get the blending down correctly and everything like that so i'm just actually just going through it um and just yeah you see i'm actually having a hard time on this area because um where you see i was having a hard time there's actually a I think it's a T-pin, it's actually a T-pin there. So it's actually kind of like been in my way. So I've had to kind of like work around it. The only thing is that um, I would use the canvas head. My thing is that I'm a very visual visual person. So for me, I have to kind of see the frame of the head. You know, I have to kind of see what I'm doing because I, I like to I like to know exactly where I'm, what I'm working with, the type of frame, you know, where I'm cutting everything at. So for me, it was like all about place so I wanted to make sure that um, you know I don't lose myself or cut too much so I felt that the I actually worked better on the mannequin head believe it or not I actually work better using the mannequin head because I know exactly like where to go where to put um, where to pin the wig on whether it's a 22 um, inch canvas head or 23 or 20 doesn't matter I I know how to place it on the canvas head, I have actually have um, I actually have a a uh, what do you call it? I have a a guide like where I stick my T pins at. I leave that as a guide so that way, where when I'm getting ready to cut my pixie wigs, I know exactly where to place them at. So um, that's yeah. So that's where that's at. So now I'm just going through 
and I'm going to pull the hair out in a 90 degree angle because I want to cut off those little pieces that you see that hangs at the end. You want to cut those pieces off just so that your wig is not all, first of all, it's not uneven. And two, it just, you just want your wig to have a nice finished look. And along with that, I'm going to do, so I'm going to do that on the back row. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to work on the sides. So I'm not going to cut too much off on the sides because I want those side birds, side, I want those side burns. <laughs> That was a little tongue twist there. So I want those sideburns to be a bit long. And I don't mean like long, like dramatically long, but just long enough to where it is, uh, where the length of the ear is at. So I just want it to be long enough to where, you know, it just frames the face really, really well. So yeah, as, as you see, I'm doing that right now with one side and then I'm gonna work my way to the other side. Also to you guys, please stay tuned to the end of this video because I do have a surprise for you guys and you guys are going to love it. All right, so next I'm gonna go in and apply this Frizz Patrol Setting Mousse, which is by Aunt Jackie's. This is actually my first time using this product. I've actually been hearing a lot of good things about it, and I noticed that a lot of wig makers are using this particular product. So I went to the store and I purchased it myself, just so I can see, you know, what the whole tea is about, you know, just to give my own formal opinion. Uh, opinion about it to see if I like it or not and I can definitely say when I used it it was really really good it is definitely hydrating it doesn't make the hair hard or anything like that it doesn't make it flaky so this product I would definitely recommend it even if you have a, a, a go-to product or a mousse or a setting foam I would just say if you're looking for a backup um, this would be a good option for you and so the reason why I'm actually going in the back with this and I because I want that flat look in the back also to um, I had to wet it because if you don't wet it it could take a, it could use a lot of product and so you don't want to waste product like that and so when you wet it it helps you to not use a lot of product and so that's exactly what I'm doing I'm just kind of like putting it in place using my uh, all-purpose comb just to kind of oh no I'm sorry I'm using my rat comb my rat tail comb so I'm just going in with my rat tail comb just you know molding it in place and stuff like that as you can see it's coming together it's not fully done in terms of like where I want it because I am gonna still cut you know I'm gonna cut some more off of it but based on how it looks now I'm, I'm loving how it's looking so far so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, place the strips and then after I place the strips, I'm going to go ahead and um, Do the same thing on top. I'm actually going to apply it on the top part as well And so guys you guys are going to see that I had to finesse this I had to finesse this um, This mannequin head because I I was tr when I was trying to put when I was putting this the the next the strips on it was like slipping because of course you know the mannequin head is plastic so therefore yeah it was it was um, getting ready to you know not it wasn't holding still enough for me so I had to kind of improvise and you know just make it do what it do and yes right now she looks like she's about to go rob a store or something like that but <laughs> I just had to improvise because there was nothing else I could do but that so yeah so yeah <laughs> oh yeah and so since I'm now on the top part before I apply the setting mousse before I apply the setting mousse on the top 
portion of the hair I'm gonna just go in and just cut the hair evenly I'm gonna cut it in a um, all around in the same um, just all around evenly um, and then afterward I'm gonna go ahead and apply the mousse around it and then I'm gonna let it set and then after it's done drying I'll come back so that I can go ahead and start the next process one word of advice i would say if you are someone that is currently in school you're or you're thinking about going to school or you're getting ready to start i would say when you're on the floor and you have the clientele and that comes in because you there there are people that are going that are going to come in and they're going to require services because of course it's cheaper at the school do not shy away from wanting to do the service. I don't care if it's coloring service. I don't care if it's a cutting service. I don't care if it's a manding and petty. I don't care if it's even a relaxer service or anything else that I haven't mentioned that they teach you on the floor. Even if it's braiding, do not shy away because one of the things that I'm actually wishing that I would have learned more is actually more cutting because I feel as though that I cut myself short with cutting. Now I was able to do like the coloring services and the blow dries and everything because you just never know what your passion is going to be. Yes, they teach you everything, but they don't teach you like deep stuff. They teach you the basics really. You really just have to go to other like go to other classes like outside of school and just learn more stuff and more learn more techniques but other than that they do teach you the basics i'm not gonna lie about that i do believe that they should add more more to it if anything but i'm just going but the point of this is just me saying do not shy away from any of the services that are being rendered there always make yourself available if you're not doing anything because practice does make perfect but do not worry because the the teachers the teacher that is there or teachers because sometimes you can have one or two the teachers that are there will guide you through. They will help you. They will guide you. They will show you how to make the formula. They will show you how to mix the relaxer. They will show you. They won't let. They won't let you. You know, let you fail. They will not let you fail. Um, just make sure you got a good instructor. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep it right there. So this part is optional. You don't have to do the entire head. You can actually just do like the bottom portion of it. I just don't like the high raised look. I like mine to look nice and flat. So that is why I am actually applying it. And also too, I needed to tame the frizz that was, that I was looking at earlier or that I saw earlier. And so I wanted the, the mousse to tame the frizz. And also too, when I get ready to style it, it can also, you can also see the shine that comes out of it as well from using this product. So this product is actually really good. And I would actually recommend you to try it out and see how you, see how you like it. so I let it sit overnight and now that it's dry I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the strips and as I remove the strips or actually once I'm done removing the strips I'm then gonna go ahead and begin the styling process So 
I'm sectioning off the top part real quick only because I want to separate it from the bottom which is why you see that I still kept the other strips well there's two remaining so I left those there right now that way I can go ahead and just get that out the way and separate them and then once I'm done separating them I can go ahead and proceed with the next step of the styling process and of course like I mentioned before I'm going to go ahead and um, trim off some more of the bottom part so that's what you see me doing now I'm actually doing some more cutting um, into it just to kind of you know remove some more of the hanging pieces that I was talking about earlier before so I just wanted to actually mold it first and then after I'm done molding it then I can actually kind of go in and do some more cutting in it I will be actually going back and forth between my shears and my razor so once I get the desired look that I want then I'm going to go ahead and begin the curling process with my pencil with my pencil iron Next, I'm going to go in with uh, my Beyond the Zone heat protectant spray. This spray, I got it from Sally's. It's really, really good. It actually smells really good as well. And I'm also going to be using my pencil, my titanium pencil iron from Red, which is also a good product. I actually like Red products. Red products are amazing. Their irons, their flat irons, if you haven't, like let's just say you're looking to save some extra coins on purchasing some irons red is definitely a good option even their blow dryer is is amazing as well so don't don't sit on red now red is that yeah red red be doing a thing i really like them i don't know they might be better than conair because i used to love conair a lot a lot but once i got introduced into red i don't know it's been red all the way for me so but I but also too I do like babyless as well so I am definitely a big fan of babyless products I'm, I'm a fan of red products they're definitely definitely really really um, products that I've used and that I can't say that I've had any issues with so I know that I wanted the back to be flat but where I'm getting ready to actually bump the hair at the top I wanted to be like a little bit of extra like some support from the um from the bottom part of it so i'm just kind of going in and just doing a little bumping a little bit you know a little bump um around the area where the the top part is going to fall at that way it can kind of blend in really really nicely and so um i know right now it looks like okay what is she doing but you guys are going to see how it's going to turn out because um um it actually came out really really nice and so to my surprise it was really it was really beautiful so so just sit back and watch as i go ahead and style this product i'm just kind of now i'm just kind of going in i'm you know just making sure that i lay down the edges so that way it can kind of sit really nice towards the back area and everything like that so you know just but like i said you know just make sure that you know if you need to just cut just be mindful that you don't cut too much and also remember that i'm using a mannequin head so with me using the mannequin head i had to be mindful and everything not to cut so much but at the same time you know just be just eye it out just to make sure that i didn't go too far or cut too far or anything like that and so yeah So as you can see, I ended up switching up the iron. I um, wanted to use a different iron because the, the pencil iron wasn't, not that it wasn't working, but it wasn't giving me what I was actually wanting. I wanted like a bigger bump. So I'm actually using my pink Babyliss titanium iron. This is actually an exclusive iron that came out some time ago. And they were they were only exclusively they were being sold around Christmas time it came with like a mini set and it was on sale and so I took advantage of it and I purchased it 
So I'm not sure. I, don't, I honestly do not believe they are going to be offering this particular set again since it was exclusive. Now I will say that uh, as far as the the iron itself, it's okay. It's just not hot the way I like hot, the way I like heat. So like when you know, for all of us who are familiar with the regular babyless flat iron, the blue one. Now y'all know that sucker gets real hot to the point where it does it. It does the job. So when it comes to this one, it does its job. It's just that it doesn't do it to the to the expectations in the way that I like it. To the expectations of how the blue babyless flat iron work. But overall, it's still it's still good. It still works. Um, I don't have any issues with it. I just use it on certain. When I'm doing certain styles, I use it. Like if I'm doing a bob, I'll use it. If I'm doing styles like this, what I'm working on now, this pixie wig, I'll use it. But for other major things, I'll, I'll be sticking to my other irons. But when it comes to this iron, it, it works It works good. Um, I don't really have a big issue with it. It's just that it doesn't meet the expectations of the type of heat that I like. Okay, so now I'm working on the sideburns where I'm framing it around the ear. Along with that, I'm also working on creating the sideburn. So I'm going to be switching it between, we're well, working between my razor along with my shear. That way I can create it and, you know, not, and also I can control how I'm cutting it too because I don't really use the, I don't use my electric razor for it since only because it's on the mannequin head if it wasn't on the mannequin head i probably would have but i tried it earlier and it wasn't doing what i what it needed to do so i just decided that i was just going to use my my use my shears along with my razor and then just go ahead and switch between the two of them so you could just watch how i'm getting ready to start framing and um as i'm framing you're going to start to see how everything's going to start to come together and just how it's going to bring out the style and everything so as you can see i'm doing the same thing on the other side i'm working between the shears and the razor and i'm just framing it around the ear and i'm working on the sideburns i'm just making sure that i don't cut a lot i'm just making sure that I, I cut little by little so that way i don't cut too much and honestly you rather not want to cut too much you rather want there to be enough that way if you do happen to cut a lot more than you're supposed to then you're not going to really be able to fix it Instead, you're going to have to work with what you got and see if you can fix it from there. So I would rather want my sideburns to be longer than I expect them to be. That way I have enough room, wiggle room to work around it and I can kind of shape it to the way that I like it. But as you guys can just sit and see, you're starting to see that it's starting to come together. And so I'm going to let you guys sit back and watch me work on this unit. As you can see, I did already work on the other side and you can already see just how beautiful that came out. Look at that. And so all I'm doing is just matching the, the two sides together. And so that way I can make sure that one doesn't look, um, you know, one doesn't look higher than the other and that they look identically alike. So I'm actually using an old school product. It's a Marcel wax. And so I'm just using a little bit and I'm only using it for these sideburns. And that is actually exactly what you um, notice on the other side when it was laid nice and flat. I was using the Marcel wax by Ampro. So I just wanted to kind of help it to lay down because while I start working on the top part of the hair, I didn't want it to I didn't want it to blend in with it. I didn't want it to get in the way. So I wanted it to kind of just lay there nice and flat. And so right now I'm getting ready to style the top part of the 
wig so I'm looks like I'm already I've already I'm already done with the sideburns I may I'm not sure if I did but I may go back to fix it uh, not really sure if I ended up going back to fix it or not however right now I'm I'm actually at the end part of this style where now I'm just working on the mushroom part where I'm just giving it I'm bumping the top part of this wig so guys go ahead and sit back and watch me style this unit and I will come back to show you guys the finished results So guys, I know earlier I mentioned that I did have a surprise for you guys and so yes, the surprise that I have for you guys or the surprise announcement is that this very unit here is definitely going to be a free giveaway. Yes, you've heard it right. This is definitely a free giveaway unit. I just wanted to just show you guys a token of my appreciation and I thought by doing that that I can use the opportunity to give this wig away as a just as a giveaway to to you all and so in order for you to enter into this giveaway um, you can go ahead and definitely make sure you, number one that you are a subscriber to like and comment below so that I can um, I can get your name in and I can use your, I could put place your name in a basket and so I just feel like this is a unit that you can actually gift yourself, you know, if you are a mother or if, even if you're not a mother, you could just gift it to yourself as just something nice. Or if you want to gift it to your own mom or a, a, a relative, whatever the case may be, or like I said, again, you gift it to yourself. Um, that would be... Um, that would be actually be your choice so if you are interested in this unit please go ahead and make sure that you are a subscriber like and comment down below and of course i will announce the winner at the end of this week in the community tab and once i do that i will <clears throat> ask that you place your ig handle social media um in the in the comment section as well that way i can know how to reach out to you and then i can get the information needed so that i can go ahead and send this unit out to you so that is the announcement and the surprise that i had for you guys so i'm definitely excited to see who the winner is going to be Okay, so I'm actually just about finished with this unit. I'm just going in and doing some last minute cutting, last minute blending. I'm also going to be taking my shears so I can actually cut around, you know, cut those little 
hanging pieces around the ear and everything like that and I'm also going to go in in the front and do like a point cutting that way I can kind of take some weight off on the bottom um, I want that nice blunt cut but I also don't want it to be too blunt and also too I don't want a lot of weight in the front area so I'm actually doing just some point cutting that way I can kind of remove some weight off the front and everything like that but other than that guys this unit is definitely completed I'm actually done and I'm gonna be back and I'm gonna show you the end results And so guys, this is the finished product. I, I was in love with the outcome so much that I had to go find a pair of earrings and just to kind of give you guys like, it was giving elegance, okay? It was giving that I'm going to a ballroom and I need, you know, and it was giving that elegant style, that elegant look and everything like that. This is the outcome of the bag and I just love how this really, really came out, guys. Guys, definitely, definitely, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. And also, too, right here, I'm just actually going in and I'm just showing you guys just how versatile this wig is where you can actually not only wear it as a mushroom style, but you can also like play with it. You can comb, comb it and just see like just see with that bounce. Just look at the way that this hair it looks from the back. Here it is from the side angle where I am just kind of combing it in to where you guys don't have to always do it as a mushroom style. You can actually, this style can actually become versatile. You just have to play with it. And I mean, look at it guys, look at that. It is just outstanding. And so guys, I would definitely have this description down below of everything that I use for this unit don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also do remember that this is a giveaway and so I, that I will also be announcing the name of the winner at the end of the week and so I thank you guys so much I appreciate you I thank you for all the support and I will definitely see you guys in my next video bye